Let's take a look at Kitbash's new black market kit from Cargo, a Kitbash 3D inside of Unreal Engine. Uh, basically, we're taking a look at the new kit because it's cool, right? Um, um, <laughs> it's just a cool looking kit. And um, the only thing, here's, uh, this is like not sponsored by Kitbash or anything. I have an affiliate link, so if you do decide you want to buy it, it's 50% off right now at the time of this video. And then you can use code Effectatron20 to get an extra 20% off. But it's just really cool. And I just want to kind of show off just how easy it is to fill out scenes and stuff with Kitbash. Now, the only thing I'll say is like these kits look amazing, but every Kitbash kit that is really cool and has stuff, they have these characters in it, right? That really bring the world to life. Kitbash does not provide characters, okay? This is something you got to keep in mind. Um, this one thing, if Kitbash added characters, man, it would be perfect. Um, but that's really the only thing it's lacking because everything else works really well. So you can just click and download these um, and then import them in. You just literally click it and say import, and it's that easy. It loads it in. You have to wait for it to load in, but that's fine. But the best part, a lot of people don't know about Cargo, is that you can cycle it through materials as well. So we can cycle through just and like filter it out with just the black market materials. So you get these really cool um, tileless PBR materials. Uh, seamless, I mean, not tileless, tileable and seamless materials that you just can use with anything. So you don't even have, they're not like linked to just, it's not just the kits, right? It's the materials, everything. And you have this library of that. And I think this alone is like been one of the best features of cargo that they don't show off. Um, and they're even adding substance kits, which are really cool as well. Um, so they're, they're, they're getting into it. And now that they've paired up with Grayscale Gorilla, I have a feeling that everything's gonna get a lot better uh, when it comes to integration and everything across the systems and everything. But we'll see. So this is my scene inside of here that I've used. I've created, I've just used um, an Ultra Dynamic Sky to create this. And you see, I have all these really cool people in there. Um, so it's kind of a mix of every building that you see, every prop you see, except for this cop car and these characters. Uh, these are all from Big Medium Small, uh, their cyberpunk pack, which is just super cool. Uh, it works with Unreal Engine and C4D and Octane. Uh, and the thing with Cargo, with all these buildings and props and settings, they work with everything. They work with Blender, they work with uh, Redshift, they work with Octane, they work with Unreal Engine. Um, so kind of cool. And you can dive in and really like hone in the you know, displacement. On all this, if you want, we can add these cool puddles. But you can't have Cyberpunk without rain and fog, right? So there it is. But this is a Kitbash car here. And I've just like, I haven't touched this. You know, I just dragged and dropped it in. Um, it's pretty cool. But I just wanted to showcase like how quick it is to build out a scene like this. So obviously the rain and stuff helps. But let's go ahead and just turn off our fog. All right, so this literally is the way it works is it comes in, it puts it in the cargo folder for you after you click import, and then we have our black market pieces. Now we have all of our static meshes individually if we want, so we can literally kit bash anything, or we can go to all the materials, which are all material instances, all linked to master materials. So this is really nice because obviously we can just copy material instances, make um, different tilings of certain things or whatever. And also we can just enable global things like displacement and stuff across the board. The only downside I have about the displacement is that some of the materials, you know, there's not like a universal displacement value completely works with everything. So sometimes you do need to copy your master material and have like a lower displacement on one um, because it might break some things. But it's easy enough to fix and stuff like that. But um, it's really cool because we can add stuff like this dynamic, ultra dynamic weathers, um, rain puddles. So you can see we actually have nanite displacement on the ground here and then we have puddles on top of that so that just looks phenomenal and that's you know we're not getting any lag or anything we get this big plane indoor landscape works with all that stuff very cool and then also all of our buildings look really good i haven't put the rain running down the side of the buildings yet i don't think i could do that i could show you how to do that if you guys want um it's very easy to do but yeah, we got the puddles on the roof, everything, puddles on the ground. And so basically all I did was I just took some buildings. So we went to blueprints and I went to buildings and I just started dragging and dropping some of these in and just kind of blocked out a little city street real quick. And um, then I was like, okay, let's just find a spot that looks kind of cool and start putting stuff in there. So I was like, this angle kind of looks neat. 
Uh, let's just make a little alleyway here. And so this didn't come with any of this stuff on it. I started to kind of just kind of showcase the... Um, so like this storefront here, I built because it, this was just an empty room and I just used the kit bash kits, uh, the stuff inside of here. And or if you go into the props folder, you have all these signs, all this cargo, this luggage, all this stuff uh, to bring in. And so you don't have to like bring these things in individually. You just have to bring them in one at a time through the world kit, which is a bummer. And I talked to kit bash on discord about it. They're like, we know that it's a pain. Uh, we're working on a way to implement the fact that you can just download the whole kit and bring things in seamlessly because right now you go download and then you have to wait for it to download and you come back and you say import and then it goes. And then you click through each one and say import, 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 import. And you can't like select them all and click import all yet. That's all they need. Like I don't care if I can download the whole pack, but just let me select multiple things and say import at once, okay? But they're, they're working on it. Um, but yeah, so I just took this little empty building and populated it with some signs and I put in some like cool, these cool little boxes and things. You can see this is what I'm talking about with the displacement. So you can see I've like cracked the edge of this with the displacement. So there's a couple things we can do. We could either make a material that doesn't have displacement on this because this box probably doesn't need it. Or we can um, go into the mesh and actually model it, whatever. But because it's a blueprint, it's not the easiest thing in the world because now we have to come in here and go to the blueprints and then find it. Instead of here, double click this. And now we have access to all this and we could find the mesh of the crate we want this way, like this. And now we can say, select this one, right? And we can bring this up and take a look at this crate. And what we wanna do is with this crate selected, we're gonna model it. So what we do is we need to grab the model and go to attributes. And then we go to uh, normals click that and we just need to recalculate the normals here fix and consistent normals and we need to use per vertex here and then we say accept and now our crate won't be busted and have those gaps and we can delete that one and that will have fixed our one that is in the scene so that's how you fix that now obviously we need to find this one and do that do that project as well so not the end of the world not the easiest thing i i if you're going to have displacement and stuff, which it really doesn't, but it should, it's nanites. You have to like enable displacement and I, I can show you that real quick, um, how to set that up. But what I want is, and this is like an, un, like an unbiased review, right? Like if you bring stuff in and you don't have displacement on, it looks great. It really does. It looks totally fine. But displacement just makes everything look better. And the fact that it can do it means like, let's, like it should just do it. But um, basically what I'm saying is what needs to happen is I want a true drag and drop thing. And because they're using it across so many different DCCs and the materials are so different, it doesn't really have it. And so it comes in looking perfect except for displacement. And like that's the same case. And it's not just an Unreal Engine thing. It's like that with everything. Something about there's no uniformity with displacement across apps. And it's just such a choke point right now when it comes to modeling and things. And it's not Kip Ash's fault. It's just the way it is, but it's fixable and they should just fix it for the Unreal Engine versions of it, but whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and fix this one real quick. And again, just go to attributes, normals, per vertex, go, boom, done. Okay, now it's fixed. So, you know, we've got displacement. It works fine like that. That shouldn't be something that I have to do. That should have been done. It should be set up like that. And I don't know, maybe I don't know enough about, you know, creating assets for multiple apps and things like that. But we've got these cool guns that look cool. We've got these like gun holders and things, these barrels, floors, obviously different banners and lights. We can adjust our light, our exposure here so we can actually see what these signs say, what that signs say altered tough right but um for the most part like everything works really well it looks really cool but that displacement is just the biggest grievance i have with all this stuff um but it's really it but i mean if you're just doing like background stuff or anything like you don't have to add displacement at all um you can just as with these cool like pieces you can like drag and drop 
around. Like kit bashing is just fun to actually kit bash things. You know, let's put this like back there. Couple pipes, couple signs. But it's just fun to it's just like I built this whole scene in like an hour, right? Which is just cool. <laughs> and it's cool in Unreal Engine because I can fly around and I can block it out without using like cubes. I can just block it out with the kit. And then from that I can art direct and dive in and and do stuff on top of that. Populate with people and wetness and things like that. And so so um I just wanted to showcase kind of how quick and easy it is to build a cyberpunk city kind of thing, like a little alley street. So you do this and then you combine it with some of the cyberpunk stuff to fill out a background. Right. But I just created a quick little corner and this is all, you know, nanite and game optimized and stuff. And we could bring in other things from Kit Bash and other elements. And we start combining all these things. You get these just really cool um just worlds, like just like that. So we'll just grab like a big building to put in the background or something from the brutal the brutal pack. And this is gonna be like just a big chonker. And this is from the brutalist pack it is available as well. Boom. So now we kind of have this looming big corpo building in the background where this like CD, you know, back alley stuff is happening. It's just all, like you just toss that in there that quick and just fly around it. It's so good. I I, I love it. Um, I love Unreal for that reason alone and the Kit Bash for that reason. But yeah, so let's just take a look real quick at like adding like rain or something on this. So let's, we've got all these cool overhangs. We just come in here, fly around, do whatever. I just want to show off kind of the kit. Um, how cool it is, it has all these crates and things, how to fix a couple issues in it, but just how nice it is to build these cool <laughs> little cities and stuff. When you start combining all of Kit Bash cargo together, you get these really cool just moments. Um, it's just cool to explore and fun to walk around and everything in your level. It's a good time. I love I love playing around with Kit Bash. And that's what I think that's my favorite thing about it is it feels like playing around. Like yeah, it's it's you're making something like legit, but it's like when you get a good game with really good building and stuff and you just kind of zone out and just build like satisfactory or Minecraft or something. You just are like any survival game with building mechanics and things, city builders, whatever. And you're just allowed to just build and you're like, yeah, that was cool. I made something. That's what it feels like. Like Kit Bash feels like uh, with Unreal. Just It's just fun. It feels like playing as much as it is working. And I really enjoy that aspect about it. Um, and it just works well. So black market kit, 50% off, use code effect on 20. Just wanted to showcase it a little bit. I know it's kind of a bit of a random one, but you know, maybe it'll inspire you guys to uh, create some cool stuff. I mean, you can see there's just a lot of neat, neat stuff in here. And we can turn on some bloom and all that stuff. 